Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Crypto Explorer. Today's video is part one of a series of videos that I'll be making on how to build a Bitcoin full node and lightning node. Today's video I'll be briefly going over the lightning network, why you would want to run node, and the parts required to get this project going. If you're not familiar with the lightning network, it is a Bitcoin's means to allow for scalable and instant Bitcoin blockchain transactions. If you point your web browser to lightning.network, it will bring you to this website with information about the Lightning Network. And you can see over here that it provides instant payments, scalability, low costs, and cross blockchain uh, atomic swaps. And you can read more about how it works, the, the payment channels, um, and then they do have these uh, documents here where you can see some uh, presentation slides about the Lightning Network. Now if you're not familiar with the Lightning Network, it is um, similar to what, um, I guess one way people put it is like it's basically having an open tab where um, you have an open tab at the bar and then when you're done for the night you settle the tab and which at that point it is sent to the blockchain. So th here's a pretty neat Reddit article about the basics of it, and you can go through it. Now, um, lightning, running a Lightning Network node does have its benefits, and here's a CoinDesk article. You can earn roughly one Satoshi in fees if you want. Um, and every time your node routes a transaction to another node. But uh, keep in mind that charging a fee is optional and there are currently many nodes out there that don't charge any fees for routing transactions. I personally believe folks will eventually have to charge at least the minimal of fees in order to make the network su sustainable and increase liquidity. So that being said, let's get started. For this build, um, I'll be using Raspberry Blitz tutorial, which you can find on this site. Now, before starting this project, I encourage you to read this article all the way through just to familiar, familiarize yourself with the process. Um, I will be starting on scenario two method to start. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is get the parts required uh, to make this build. So in the the Raspy Blitz um, uh, site here, or site or uh, article, um, you can see all the different um, things you need. The Raspberry Pi 3, micro SD cards, at least 16 gigs, a power adapter, um, one terabyte hard drive, a case, and LCD display. So um, what I did was I went over here to Amazon, you, there's links in Amazon for all these items, and here are the 16 gig micro SD with a one terabyte hard drive, power adapter for the Raspberry Pi, um, the case. I like this case because it's a transparent case, but also has the op the option to fit this um, display in there, and then the, the the display for the Raspberry Pi and the Raspberry Pi itself. So roughly $130 for the whole project in terms of hardware. And um, when you're done with it, but you're going to have something like this, but with the monitor here, the screen, and then the Raspberry Pi ports over here. Interestingly enough, I was able to find in Target uh, the bare components you would need for this project. Uh, they do have a Raspberry Pi 3, uh, one terabyte uh, portable drive, um, 16 gig memory stick, stick and a uh, uh, USB charger or USB uh, power uh, brick uh, for $120, but you don't get the screen and you don't get the case. But kind of neat to see that the bare materials needed for this project can be sourced out locally. 
So I already have a SD card ready for this image. So let's, we can start on that part of the project. So over here, we can see the link to the SD card image for the Raspi Blitz. I'm going to click here to download it. And then while that's downloading, I'm going to um, click here to get the links for and instructions on um, writing the image to my SD card. So we are going to need to download um, Etcher. And I'm downloading for Windows. And I'm going to wait for uh, while these two are downloading. I'm going to pause the video and then restart it once it's completed. So as you can see here, let me just push this up a little bit. Etcher is done downloading. I'm going to double click it to run it. And uh, I'm going to click I agree. And you're going to see it install. I'm dragging it from my second monitor. That's why you're not seeing it initially when it pops up. And it should take less than a minute to install. Hey, right, now that it is installed, I am going to launch it. And it's on... Um, on my uh, link on my desktop. Let me just move this over here so you can all see it. And I'll move this out of the way. So you should see a shortcut called Etcher. I'm going to double click it to run. And here's the application. So the Raspi Blitz image is still downloading. I'm going to pause the video and then restart it once it's done. So as you can see here, Ras Raspi Blitz has done is um, done downloading. So let's move this to the side and we're going to click select image. And I'm going to go to the directory where Raspi Blitz was downloaded. One second. So over here, it's in my downloads folder. I'm going to select the Raspi Blitz and click open. And then I'm going to select the drive. I'm going to be using this 16 gig drive and I'm going to click continue. And then click flash. Now you may get prompted. Click yes if you do. and we will wait so this might take some time so i'm going to pause the video um, and then restart it when it's complete so it is finished um writing to uh the image to the disk but now it's going to validate the the image so this will take some time as well and i will pause the video and get back to it when it's done So the flashing of the drive is now complete. And with that being done, you can close uh, Etcher. You might get this message um, because um, it is uh, flashed in a format that uh, that is not native to Windows. Just click cancel. So at this point, you could take out the drive and um, insert it into your Raspberry Pi. So that's it for this part of uh, the, for this part in the, the series of videos, um, the next uh, part we'll be going over um, actually getting the hardware connected and booting it up. Anyway, thank you for watching.